Welcome to another installment of Cartoon News Block, where I report everything going on concerning animation and going on in the world of animation. Oh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I would greatly appreciate it. And please like the video and click the notification bell so you can be updated on future content on the channel. So, last time I reported on Me TV's upcoming 24 hour cartoon channel, Me TV Tunes, that will make its debut on June 25th of this year. This is going to be very momentous for me and many cartoon lovers. Now, we finally got a schedule of what they are going to air on the channel on launch. It looks like they are going to air many classic cartoons from the Hanna-Barbera catalog. The schedule on launch starts at 8 a.m. with Bugs Bunny and Friends. This is a great chance, this is a great choice to start, to start up the schedule. These cartoons are timeless and can hold its own on any channel. This will most likely be the same presentation of the shorts that currently airs on Me TV's Saturday morning cartoon mini lineup. A great choice. Then you have the underdog show at 9 a.m., which is really good. You see, the underdog show was DFS's flagship cartoon series that the same studio that created King Leonardo and his subjects. This will be this generation's first time ever seeing it. This is a great thing. Then you have Inspector Gadget. Of course you gotta have Inspector Gadget. It's one of the most accessible cartoon series that could be shown on any cartoon schedule. The thing is that you could watch this cartoon series on Tubi, but to have it presented here is pretty good. So this is a very good choice. Then you have the Smurfs, which is gonna be the most viable series on the entire schedule due to its continued relevancy. This is a great choice to have on the channel because Smurfs in its heyday was very popular on NBC and it had many episodes. So to have it on the channel is gonna be a great time slot filler for the channel. Also, we will get Hanna-Barbera's syndicated efforts as well, such as the Yogi Bear Show and the Peter Potterman Show in two time slots. I don't know if I like this too much because this is a time slot that could have been utilized for another series, but I think that they're banking on the Peter Potterman show to bring in older viewers that grew up on it and for it to be one of their most viable on the network because I don't see any other reason why it would fill two time slots on the schedule. Hopefully this is a great move for them, but I highly doubt it. Then we have staples such as the Jetsons, which doesn't have a large episode order itself compared to having the Flintstones, which I knew obviously was going to be on this channel. But to have them on the channel and as a combo, it's a great way to present Hanna-Barbera on this channel. So I'm all for it. Of course, we have Scooby-Doo on there. There's no way Scooby-Doo would not be on this channel. So this is a great inclusion to the channel. Also, they are bringing cartoons that haven't been seen in years, such as Casper the Friendly Ghost, Joe Oriolo's often forgotten creation. Most likely the company in the title will, could be various other cartoons related to it. We also have the Weewood Pecker show on here as well. Now, whether it's gonna be the 80s syndicated version or the original version remains to be seen. But it's Saturday that's going to be the highlight for those that grew up on cartoons from the 80s and 90s. You have Police Academy, the anime series, which hasn't been seen on any platform in years. To get shows like that shows how diverse this catalog of cartoons airing on Me TV Tunes is. Then you have the real Ghostbusters here as well which is one of my favorite cartoons of all time and many others. Then you have even the mask on here. This is very obscure cartoon from the 90s. So to have this on here indicates that they're willing to bring more obscure cartoons into this lineup and on the channel itself. 
We have Johnny Quest on here as well. I hope they bring the 80 syndicated sequel series alongside the original. This will complete the package in terms of presenting Johnny Quest to a new audience. And maybe the real adventures of Johnny Quest. That would be great as well. The channel will also present several different cartoons in a block called Cartoon All-Stars. This is a fantastic way to acclimate viewers and introduce them to cartoons they may have never seen before. As I look at this schedule though, I see so much potential for it, but for this channel to gain any continued fanfare, they have to offer a lot more than these. They need to utilize the entire Hanna-Barbera catalog. They can even put the obscure Hanna-Barbera cartoons in similar fashion as cartoon all-stars to present them in a new way. This would be greatly appreciated. Also, I would love to see the entire Ruby Spears catalog as well. The likes of Alvin and the Chipmunks alone has me wanting to watch this channel. This is a long shot, but I would also love for them to get the original Muppet Babies on there as well. I know it's a long shot because the Muppets are owned by Disney, but this may be the only way to ever see them again on any platform. Another cartoon that I would love to see on this channel is Thundercats. Maybe we get some stuff like Silverhawks as well, which is just kind of a sister series in a way. So I would love to see stuff like that. Get Heathcliff on here. Get Tiny Toon Adventures on here and Tasmania. Peter Pan and the Pirates, which has never been seen or aired on anything since the 90s. I can go on and on with what they should air on the channel. The point is that they are going to have to switch the schedule up to include anime series that cater to an 80s and 90s generational audience. The classic cartoons can't stand on its own for long. Hopefully if this channel is a success, we can get stuff from the early 2000s or maybe the, the earlier cartoon network tunes that were made by Hanna-Barbera themselves. What I would love to see happen one day is the channel to air original cartoon series made for the network. Also, maybe we can get anime as well that aired in syndication, such as Robotech, Voltron, or maybe something like Ronin Warriors or Techno Man. Oh, that would be great. In all, this new network has me super excited. Hopefully the presentation resembles the earlier days of Cartoon Network instead of their main channel. BTV isn't exactly appealing for the audience that they're trying to bring in. So most viewers don't want to watch commercials catered to seniors on a channel like this. Anyway, what do you guys think about the schedule? Is it the best crop of content for them to present on day one? Or could they have went with something entirely different? Are you interested in seeing the classic tunes? Or do you want more current tunes like the early 2000s stuff? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I would love to read them. So with that said, I will see you guys on the next go around. Until then, Excelsior.